Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Planet of Sideways Glass Rain Imagine a planet that looks like a beautiful blue marble from far away, but don't let its peaceful appearance fool you. This place is straight out of your worst nightmares. Welcome to HD 189733B, where it rains molten glass sideways. The winds on this planet blow at 7,500 miles per hour. That's seven times faster than the speed of sound. The temperature is so hot that it melts tiny bits of silicate in the atmosphere. In other words, it's so hot that it turns rock into liquid glass. But because the winds are so insanely fast, this molten glass doesn't fall straight down like normal rain. Instead, it gets blown sideways across the planet. It's like someone took a shotgun, loaded it with molten glass, and decided to shoot it everywhere at seven times the speed of sound. The funny thing is, from far away, this death trap of a planet looks beautiful. It's actually a stunning deep blue color. But that pretty blue color comes from all the glass particles floating in its atmosphere, waiting to turn you into a human cheese grater. Number 9. The Shrimp That Boils Water With A Punch There's this tiny shrimp that hits so hard it literally makes water boil. It's called the mantis shrimp, but calling it a shrimp is like calling Godzilla a lizard. This little guy has a punch that's 2,500 times its body weight. That's like if you could punch with the force of two fully loaded semi-trucks. This shrimp has a special latch in its arm, kind of like a tiny biological crossbow. When it releases this latch, its arm shoots forward so fast it creates a vacuum in the water behind it. That vacuum makes the water literally vaporize for a split second. When these vapor bubbles collapse, they create tiny underwater explosions. These explosions are so powerful they actually generate light and heat. So this shrimp isn't just punching you. It's hitting you with the force of its club, followed by a series of tiny underwater nuclear bombs. The whole thing happens in less than a thousandth of a second. Scientists studying this shrimp have to keep it in special tanks because it keeps breaking regular aquarium glass. Number 8. A Spoonful of a Star Imagine holding a spoonful of something that weighs more than Mount Everest. That's exactly what you'd get if you somehow managed to scoop up a bit of a neutron star. These things are basically what's left after a massive star dies and collapses in on itself. Take a star much bigger than our sun, squeeze it down until it's about the size of a small city, and you've got yourself a neutron star. Just one teaspoon of this star stuff would weigh more than a billion tons. That's heavier than all the buildings in New York City combined. If you somehow got your hands on this cosmic spoonful and dropped it on Earth, it would punch through the planet like a hot knife through butter. It wouldn't even slow down. The gravity around these things is so strong that if you dropped a marshmallow on a neutron star from one meter up, it would hit the surface with the force of a thousand nuclear bombs. And they spin like cosmic Beyblades. Some rotate hundreds of times per second. That's faster than your kitchen blender on steroids. Number 7. Diamonds from Peanut Butter Scientists can actually turn peanut butter into diamonds. And no, this isn't some get-rich-quick scheme your weird uncle posted on Facebook. This is actual science. You see, diamonds are just carbon atoms arranged in a specific way, and peanut butter, being mostly organic stuff, is packed with carbon. So scientists put peanut butter in this special press that squeezes it with the force of a million atmospheres. That's like having the weight of 100 million elephants standing on your sandwich. Then they heat it up to temperatures that would make Satan himself sweat. The pressure and heat force the carbon atoms in the peanut butter to rearrange themselves into diamond crystals. But in early experiments, things didn't always go smoothly. Sometimes the hydrogen in the peanut butter would cause tiny explosions. Imagine being that scientist explaining to your spouse that you just exploded some peanut butter trying to make diamonds. The diamonds they make are super tiny, though. We're talking weeks of work for something smaller than a breadcrumb. So don't go emptying your local grocery store of peanut butter just yet. Number 6. The Immortal Jellyfish Imagine being so bad at dying that you just don't. Well, meet the Immortal Jellyfish. Nature's way of saying death is optional. This tiny blob of immortality is basically playing life on creative mode. When it gets old or injured, it just hits the reset button and turns back into a baby jellyfish. It's like having a control Z function for aging. The jellyfish basically transforms all its adult cells back into baby cells. It's like turning a chicken nugget back into a chicken. And it can do this over and over again. Scientists are studying these death-dodging jellies hoping to understand how this whole age reversal thing works. I say theoretically immortal because they can still die if something eats them or if conditions get too bad. So they're immortal until they're not. These jellies have spread all over the world's oceans. They've been hitchhiking on ships, probably sitting there thinking I've got forever to reach my destination anyway. Number 5. The Universe's Largest Bar 
Imagine a bar so big it would take you 150 light years to walk from one end to the other. That's Sagittarius B2, a giant cloud floating around in space that's basically the universe's biggest cocktail. This cosmic cloud sits about 390 light years from the center of our galaxy, just chilling there, filled with alcohol. And I'm not talking about some made up space booze. This cloud contains the exact same ethanol that's in your beer or wine. But that's not all. This celestial bar also has methanol, the stuff we use in antifreeze. So maybe don't try to take a sip if you ever visit. Scientists estimate there are billions upon billions of liters of alcohol floating around in there. But here's where it gets really weird. This space cloud also contains something called ethyl formate. That's the chemical that gives raspberries their taste and rum its smell. So technically, if you could smell space around this cloud, it would smell like raspberry-flavored rum. But this cosmic bar isn't just mixing drinks. It's also cooking up the ingredients for life itself. Scientists found molecules in there that can form sugars and amino acids. It's like the universe's own chemistry lab, mixing up the recipe for life while serving cosmic cocktails on the side. Number 4. Solid Smoke What if you could hold a cloud in your hand? Scientists have actually made something pretty close. It's called aerogel but people like to call it solid smoke because that's exactly what it looks like. This stuff is 99.8% air. That means if you had a chunk of it the size of a house, it would weigh about as much as your cat. Despite being basically nothing but air, this stuff can protect you from a blowtorch. You could point a flamethrower at one side, and on the other side, it would still be cool enough to touch. NASA uses it in their spacesuits and spacecraft because it's basically like having a force field against extreme temperatures. The way they make it is like something out of a mad scientist's lab. They start with a normal gel, then they do this weird process where they suck all the liquid out without letting the structure collapse. It's like playing Jenga with molecules. But instead of removing blocks, they're removing liquid and replacing it with air. When you hold it, your brain gets confused. It looks solid, but it feels like you're holding nothing at all. It's like someone took a piece of smoke and just froze it. Number 3. The Indestructible Animal Meet the Tardigrade nature's ultimate survivor, and proof that size doesn't matter. These microscopic creatures are basically the cockroaches of the apocalypse, except they make cockroaches look like delicate flowers. They can survive the vacuum of space, being boiled alive, getting frozen solid, and even radiation levels that would turn the Hulk into soup. That's just a normal Tuesday for a tardigrade. These little guys have been around for over 600 million years. They've watched dinosaurs come and go like they were a failed TV show. When things get rough, Tardigrades just curl up into a ball and basically turn themselves into living mummies. They can stay like that for decades, which is basically like hitting the pause button on life. Scientists have found tardigrades that were frozen for 30 years, thawed them out, and they just started walking around like nothing happened. They basically have a pause button for death. Imagine being able to survive nuclear radiation but getting eaten by a snail. Number 2. The Whispering Forest Imagine walking through an ancient forest and thinking you're alone. Well. You're actually standing on top of nature's internet. Scientists discovered that trees are secretly talking to each other through an underground network of fungi. They call it the wood wide web. These fungi connect tree roots together like tiny fiber optic cables. But instead of sharing memes and cat videos, trees are sharing nutrients and sending warning signals about threats. When a tree gets attacked by insects, it sends chemical distress signals through this fungal network. Other trees pick up these signals and start producing their own chemical defenses. It's like a group chat, where everyone's sharing tips on how to not get eaten. Mother trees actually recognize their own seedlings in this network. They send extra resources to their own kids, like some kind of botanical helicopter parent. And when these mother trees are dying, they dump their resources into the network. It's like a final take my stuff message before they go. Number 1. The Real Alien on Earth Forget about little green men from Mars. We've got something way weirder right here on Earth. The octopus. First off, they've got three hearts. Two of these hearts pump blood through their gills, while the third one makes sure everything else gets blood too. Their blood is blue, not like aristocrat blue-blooded, but actually blue. While we're out here with our boring iron-based red blood, octopuses are rocking copper-based blood, and their brain setup is absolutely insane. These overachievers have nine brains. One main brain, and then a mini-brain in each arm. Each arm can think for itself, feel for itself, and make decisions without checking in with headquarters. Imagine having eight arms that all have their own opinions. It's like having eight teenagers in your body, all wanting to do different things. While one arm is opening a jar, another might be solving a Rubik's Cube, and the main brain probably didn't even know about it. 
That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.